Good morning, Minecrafters and YouTubers. Uh, Elfhugger back here again, working on a interesting, possibly build uh, for a blaze spawner. Sorry, I didn't realize that my factorization here was not running, so got some stuff going there. Um, so yeah, I uh, I recently got a tier five blaze. Uh, Place, I think, uh, soul, soul stone. Um, so I was in my single player world messing around with uh, different designs. I ended up going with one of uh, Sespling's um, all spawners. And uh, what I did was is I built it in single player, then I copied it with a architect table, and I have the plans right here that I copied over from my single player map. Um, and, uh, I'm in the process now of finding a place to put it. So I just have, uh, this area I, I hollowed out underneath my, the water around my house. And I'm gonna see what size I'm working with here that I need to, need to do. Oh boy, I need to go down a lot more. Hmm. wonder if I should just put this in my mining age. Hmm. Interesting. That's like what? Maybe six to eight blocks down. I have to go. All right. Well, let me think about this, and I'll uh, be right back once I show you. So, welcome back. I have my buddy Grant here. Say hi, Grant. Hi. <laughs> He's going to watch me build this. Uh, I got the room cleared out, as you can see. Just the right size. I'm not sure if it's going to work. We'll see how. I'm sure there's going to be some stuff knocked off, some torches, but whatever. Um, so let's go ahead. I got I got uh, everything, all the stuff that I need in there. Let's go ahead and make some room for the power cell. All right, you ready, Grant? Ready to go. Here we go. And it's off. Cut the races. I have it set at 15 megajoules per second. Or tick, excuse me. So it's not super fast either, so I could actually speed it up, but... I figured, you know, what's the point? Do you have a jetpack on you right now? Yep. I'm not sure if it does it in a certain order, or if it just does it a way that it wants to. I don't know. I'm not really sure exactly how it does it. Looks like it's going, uh... East to west. Yeah, and but I'm saying like a material rise, like it's doing, it's like leaving out all the pistons and all the pressure plates and all that kind of stuff. It's just doing the basalt right now, so I'm wondering if that's, that's the way it's supposed to, that's the way it just does it. I don't know. And I guess now it's doing all, what is it doing now? It's doing all the pressure plates and the uh, repeaters. Yep, you get all your goodies on the bottom too. It did? Okay. So one thing that's interesting is that, um, see how the their basalt uh, pavers? I just put uncooked. Crap, I can't turn it off. It didn't place the, oh that's not good. <laughs> And it's facing this way, interesting. Alright, well, I <laughs> have to go do something real quick. Uh, and I'll be right back. Alright, we're back again. 
Sorry about that. We had a little bit of issue there with the server. <laughs> it did not like the fact that there was, I don't know, a whole lot of blazes that spawned at once because I have at least 64... I have a stack and a half of blaze rods in my inventory right now, so that gives you an idea of exactly how many were actually in there. <laughs> it had a little heart attack. Um, so the way it works, uh, this is actually a Seth Bling um, design here that I kind of modified for the smaller space. Um, the two levers, which is this is all temporary right now, they'll actually be much more prettier. Um, so they spawn in there. I turn them on on off with this little wireless receiver right there. There's a red. Shut up. There's a red alloy wire on top there, and as they spawn, they get pushed down. Well, they hit the pressure plates and they get pushed down by the pistons on the side, and then I can close them off with that, and that stops them from being able to come down. And we got an error right there. Are they spying again for some reason? Yep, there's some blazes in there. What'd you do? I didn't touch it. <laughs> Alright, hold on. There, uh, this wire needs to go up. Okay, so what we'll do is we open this up. They come down. We close it so they can't get out. We hit this. Oh, uh, you're being attacked. Nope, they're just they're just kind of blinking through, kind of. They're not actually coming out. Then we hit this one, and they get suffocated by the pistons in the back. And I actually haven't. There's a timing I haven't really worked out yet, but then you can stop them and just punch them to death and get XP. Like I said, I haven't worked out the exact timing yet, so these are usually this will be one hit kills when it comes down to it. Um, I just have to figure out the exact timing of it. But now I need to know why if it's on or off. I need to have some sort of light on the side so I can see whether or not. Of course, it's on the other side too, the side that's not visible. Uh, okay, now it's on. I'm gonna get this out of my inventory so I don't actually click it again. Okay. Yep, go for it, man. Right in the lag. So obviously I'll I'll pulse this. I won't have it on the entire time. <laughs> Alright, ready for the next wave? Bring it. <laughs> There's so many of them. And I'll help you out. You and your fancy chainsaw. Vroom, vroom. So much blood. I think that's it. Let me double check. Oh, there's one more he's stuck. Come on down. Oops. Then we go up there. Well, anyway, the reason why I wanted to record this was because, as you can tell there, that soul cage came with a lever of five. Uh, excuse me, a tier 5 soul shard in it. I did not put one in there. Uh, the blueprint, as you see here, requires just a soul cage, which I put in there. Since I made it in single player, uh, it is able... For, I made it with a tier 5 in single player to test it when I, when I tested it, and obviously, as you, as you can see, it copies that shard over there without even having a shard. So, in a way, it is, there is a way to kind of cheat a tier 5, you know, blaze shard I guess it would cheat it anyway, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of point that out. So, but yeah, it seems to work great. Um, like I said, let's get the timing down. I'll have to make this more attractive and and uh, but yeah, there you go. Tier five blade sh blade spawner in the overworld, thanks to soul shards. Mm. Happy building, and uh, catch you next time.